Ah, uh, Albany. The one place on the sugar that's easily fishable that I have not been to this year. I've only fished Albany really once or twice the whole time I've been fishing. I fished both Decatur and Broadhead and Billville a lot more than Albany. But, you know, it's a nice stretch of water here. I don't think it's that deep. We're gonna throw some corn, some worms, maybe a couple of hot dogs, and hopefully we can get a fish. Don't know how deep it is here, but I don't think it looks that deep. It's really windy today though, so that's a minus, but we'll deal with that. Well, I'm here at Albany, but I might have done better just staying in Madison, honestly, um, and going for walleyes because, you know, like right now, the last couple of forays out have been, to put it lightly, less than spectacular. And I don't even know if there's any fish here, honestly. It's really muddy here, so I might have to go somewhere where I can get closer to the water with a lure, but yeah, the last couple of forays out in the places, definitely less than spectacular. It's not that deep here either. I got something. I finally got something here. I don't know what it is. I think it, it's pretty small. I think it's a small pike. Let's see, is there a northern? Indeed, it is a tiny ass little northern. Oh wow. Oh wow, there we go. A little northern pike. Is that a pickerel or a pike? Yep, it's a small pike. So there are fish here. Just not the big ones I was looking for, but check that out, it's a small northern pike. Very careful, a little pike. A small northern pike. That's what I got today. But uh, it's not a bad fish to start. Very small, very pikeish. All right, pike, go down into the mud and send you off. After like 20 seconds out of the water, should be okay. There it goes, there it goes, there it goes. Also got an achievement today. First fish in Albany caught above the dam. That's right. I've caught a couple fish below the dam, mainly smallies, but I've actually never caught anything above the dam. So first achievement of the day. First fish in Albany above the dam. I think we got one folks after all this time. That's definitely a fish on the worms. So far worms better than corn. Yes folks, and I don't think it's a small one either. Did it just get off now? Okay. I'm gonna try to pull up on the platform, I guess. Oh, well, I'm gonna go over here and get the net at least. Net's already expanded this time. But it's out there. It's gonna take a while for me to ring in. All right. Tiny pike, no more. This one is, uh, this one's a carp or a buffalo, one of those two and it doesn't seem to be tiny. Swimming pretty fast though. I think that's a common, uh, that's a common, common carp. Common carp, very nice right there. You can see it come up. Oh, no, it got off. All right, so what I figured out is the, the channel's over there. Uh, that's where the deeper water is and I think that's where pretty much all the carp is all the fish, probably the pike as well. Which sucks because I can actually sling into the channel with my long poles, but with my casting lure, it's really hard to sling over there because it's pretty far away. So uh, we're gonna try to attempt to actually uh, get some heavier lures and see if we can actually get something. The corn's not getting hits, so I might just replace both baits with worms. I got one, I got one. I think it's a pike. Could be a carp that I just hooked into. There's a lot of them here. But I think it's a fish of death. Hopefully it's a bigger fish of death. I mean, if it's a fish of death, it's definitely a bigger, it's a bigger fish of death than the one I caught earlier. But it could very well be, very, very well be a carp or a buffalo or some other rough fish. No, it's a fish of death. It's a bigger one though, but it is still a fish of, is that a bass? No, no, it's a pike. Still kind of like cookie cutter size-ish, but it's a pike. Bigger than the one I caught earlier, but still a fishling of death. Not really a big fish of death, but a big fishling of death. All right, big fish of death. Got my net now, had my net over there. So moving net wise, not too bad of one. Not too bad of a fish of death. Oh no.
Well, that got away. Easy come, easy go. But I think we actually have another fish on this pole over here. Fish are hitting pretty hard now, so pike, fish of death. I'm not having too much luck actually landing any of these fish. Yeah, this one's still on. I believe this one's a carp though, so it's not quite as good as a fish of death. But I think I might have more chances of fish of death. Is this thing even... No, yeah, the, the, the drag's definitely there. This time though, I hate it when I move the net like this, because now I have to go get the freaking net again. All right, should just have two nets, one off dock and one on dock. And when I loosen the drag, I'm always afraid I'm going to lose the freaking fish. But I'm pretty sure it's just a carp, so not a big loss if I lose it. Oh man, it's still on. Uh, I'm upset I lost that pike, but I actually brought it in close. I just couldn't get the net around it, unfortunately. Uh, but this carp, or whatever the heck this is, could be a buffalo, I guess. It's worm, so it could definitely be anything, but I think it's a carp. Could be a gato, but I've never actually seen anyone catch a gato at, like, at the actual Amicon at the American Legion Park, so we'll see. Any, either way, exciting now, fish are starting to hit. Very exciting now, fish are actually starting to hit. Gotta bring it up slowly, this one's not an excessively large, small fish. It's definitely fighting me going that way. Oh, I see the fin, I see the fin. It's a carp, isn't it? Or is that a sucker? The fin actually makes it look like a, yeah, it's, a, it's actually a sucker. That's not a carp. It is a red horse. Red horse sucker. Silver red horse, fairly big one too. Fairly big one, silver red horse. Oh, it's gotten all like dirty and mucky as you can see, because it's a mud bottom. But oh well, silver red horse, a large one. I believe this is, this could be my biggest one that I've caught. Five pounds silver red horse. Five pounds silver red horse. That is my PB silver red horse. All right, Mr. Fish, you're related to a carp. You probably can survive quite a bit out of water as well. Not that closely related. Red horses and carps aren't completely related because carps, they originate in different continents, but they are part of the same family, but not the same genus. So we're just gonna let this guy go. I think this guy's gonna be fine. As long as I can get him in deeper water. Problem with this area. There you go, there you go. Very lovely, just needed a little bit of a touch. There you go. We're back at Albany and this time we're gonna fish near the boat dock. I actually like Albany a lot because when it's windy, it's not as windy here. Probably because those trees block the wind. But I caught, well I hooked two pike and several carp here. And from the dock, I can sling way out into the distance and all the fish are on the opposite side in that deep water channel over there. So let's see what we can get today. So we're gonna throw this white crankbait out because I can throw this pretty far. And we're gonna see if we can get any pikes or anything else, maybe a small mouth to bite it. I did hook two pike yesterday around here. I'm sure they're still here, but unfortunately, they are pretty much all on the other side of the river because that side of the river has the channel and it is way, way deeper. So I'd rather fish on the other side of the river, but that side, uh, that side un unfortunately is all private land. So uh, I can't really fish there. So I'm stuck fishing over on this side. Gonna have to throw it as far as I can. I think we got one folks. The sun's right in my eye, so it's no good, but I'm pretty sure this is a fish. <laughs> Definitely a fish. Definitely a fish. Taking a little bit of drag each time. Is it still on? Yeah, it's still on. It's a carp or a sucker. It's darting from side to side. All right, guys. First fish of today. Oh, man, that sun is not very good for the recording. Definitely not very good for the recording. And the fish is trying to drag right next to the sun thing. So, I think that's a sucker. Yep. First fish of the day, a smaller silver red horse, probably a pound or so, not like the giant five pounder I caught yesterday, but a silver red horse. At least I didn't skunk today, which is a good thing. And now the red horse needs to go. The trouble about uh, actually fishing here and doing catch and release is it's really shallow. So it's actually kind of difficult to actually let the fish go on its own. See, like the fish is just kind of confused wallowing in the mud because it's really shallow. It just kind of like chills there for a while. Now it goes. There you go. Silver red horse.
For recording purposes, that sun is really awful. That light shining right at me. Fortunately, that's what happens in a lot of these fishing places. But whatever, we'll just live with that. Just want a big fish of death. There doesn't seem to be an, like a, a, a short supply of suckers here. Caught quite, I've hooked quite a few of them the last few days. So uh, I'm hoping that because of that, there's some really big pike here. Of course, the big fish of death is always the goal. Oh, the pole is bending again. The pole is twitching and bending, and that's not the wind. So we're going to see what it is, because it is a fish. Does it feel like a huge one? I think all the fish are on one side of the dock, honestly. I, I haven't gotten any hits at all. I think this fish is slightly bigger. I haven't gotten any hits at all on the other side of the dock. So we'll see. It's taking a little more drag, definitely. So my guess is the fish is a little bit bigger. Why does it always pull that? I, I guess it pulls that way because the current's slightly that way. It's surfacing. It's not that big. It's pretty big, but it ain't that big. Well, it's not really that big. There it is. There it is, going back out, hopefully. It wants to go back out. I think it's another... Oh, no, it got off. Dang, I've never had that much issues with carp and suckers coming out of the hook until I got here. Kind of annoying. Definitely not happy about all those fish coming off the hook. They really shouldn't be coming off the hook that much. I don't know. That circle hook's just bad, but they're kind of new, too. So they shouldn't be bad. And I know they're not too big or anything. That was actually a decent sized fish that I lost. I lost like four fish here in the last couple of days already. That shouldn't happen. Oh, now I got a fish on this rod. It's not that noticeable from where I was standing on the dock, but I did notice a few bumps. I wasn't sure if it was a fish or if it was like just the wind, but it's definitely a fish. All right, it's going over to the boat ramp. Just, I don't know if that's a good or bad thing, actually. I just don't want it to cut the string. It's coming in close. It's coming in close. Fighting hard, but coming in close. Could be another sucker. And I do believe, yeah, it's a red horse. Man, there's a lot of red horses here. Definitely a ton of red horses here. This one's a little bigger, actually. This one's actually much bigger than the other one. Oh, I can actually release it at the boat ramp, because the boat ramp's actually fairly deep. A lot deeper than the area around it, so. There you go, that's a red horse right there. Very nice, very nice. I don't think this is as big as the one yesterday, but no, nah, it's not, but it's a, it's a decent sized red horse. All right, there's a sucker. It's quite a bit bigger than the last one, but still not as big as the one yesterday, so I'll just let it go here. And there it goes, there it goes. All right, sucker. Waddle off into the death. It's still like, there it goes. As soon as I splash a bit of water at it, it's uh, it basically just runs off. In order to catch something else besides a sucker, we're gonna toss out a hot dog now. Worms are catching absolutely nothing but suckers. No carp and no buffalo lords. So, we toss out a big hot dog, hopefully. It'll attract us a big fish of death. And I think I've got a fish on the other pole, so we're gonna check that as soon as we uh, set this up. Hopefully, the big fish of death will like my hot dog. And as we're waiting for a big fish of death here, I do think we have something still on this one. Or at least we did. Oh, it's way over there. Yeah, we definitely have some on this. There it is. Still on. Pretty sure it's another red horse. Or just got off. I think it just got off. Nope, I think it's still there. That's still there, it's just not big. Still there, still there. Another red horse sucker, probably. There's a lot of these here. Don't really know why the big fish of death is, is that a, that doesn't look like a sucker now. It's fighting like one. Is that a sucker? The surf? No, that's definitely a sucker. Just a different type of sucker. It's the short face one, I think. Or the what? Yeah, it's the short face red horse. All right, short face red horse. We're gonna throw a. We're gonna throw a sausage on this one as well. Let's see if we can catch a big fish of death. I just want to throw this thing out, actually, but still a little too big for me to use as bait. Still a good, you know, 
probably like 12 inches, but short face red horse. Short face red horse, another species, but still a red horse sucker. Short face red horse, short face red horse. Another type of sucker and a small one, but still a sucker. I'm gonna throw a sausage out on that pole as well. Seems like the suckers are very plentiful here, but I've not caught a fish of death yet. So uh, we're gonna let this guy go here. He's gonna be pretty happy to get off. There you go, there, there, there he goes. And now we're gonna go for the fish of death with the sausage. You know, many areas in the uh, on the sugar, whether you get carps or suckers depends entirely on the temperature outside. If it's warm, generally it's gonna be carp. And if it's cold, like right now, it's generally gonna be suckers. I guess like carps are just warmer water fish than suckers. Suckers do tend to bite more in cold water. And it seems like a carp push the suckers out when the water's warm. Changed one of the poles back to worms. Now the pike baits or lures have been working. So I'm not really sure what's going on, but hopefully I can get a pike soon. But the big kids of death just aren't hitting today like they were yesterday. Yesterday they were pretty active. Today, they do not seem to be active. It's the suckers, their prey, that seem to be really, really active. No carp or buffalo either. Gonna have to try this place when it's warmer. Well, I didn't notice it. There is actually something on this pole. So, like I said, like, the bottom dwelling suckers are still biting. But, uh... The big fish of death, which eats the bottom dwelling suckers, are not biting. Which is problematic, because I'd rather have the big fish of death than the bottom dwelling suckers. This one's not that... I mean, it's, it's not super small, but it's not a big fish by any extent. Where are the big fish of death? If their prey is biting, why aren't the predators biting? Is this too cold for them? I can tell it's a sucker by the fin. Could be a carp, I guess, but probably a sucker. 95% sure it's a sucker. Yep, it's a sucker. Yeah, the suckers are everywhere. That's like prime big fish of death prey. But the, the fish of death themselves are not biting. Is that a silver one? Yeah, I think it's, sil it's either silver or short face. That's a silver red horse. It's another sucker. It's like the fifth one today. So they're extremely active, but their predator, the big fish of death, is not very active because I have not caught one single death fish yet, which is very annoying because I need the predators to be active. All right, sucker, there you go. And it, it swims off, swims off. All right, I think I finally got one. I think it's not a bad one either. Oh my God, a pike just at sunset. I think it's a pike, unless I inadvertently hooked another red horse. Hours, hours of jigging. But finally, before dark, we get a fish of death. It's not a big one, but it is a fish of death. That's the only death fish I've gotten today. So uh, it's bigger than the one yesterday, I'll give you that. But it's still a cookie cutter sized pike. There we go. A fish, is that a pike? Yes, it is. It's just making sure it ain't a sucker, but it is a fishling of death. Not a big fish of death, but a big fishling of death nonetheless. So we got one today, a northern pike. Right before I go home, we get a pike of doom. A slightly small fish of death, but much bigger than the one we got yesterday. A fish of death, yes. All right, fish of death. Got you on the handle. And I'll release you now into the waters of doom. There you go, fish. And it swims off, just like that. See ya, fish. See ya. Well, that was quite an adventure. Two days. Hooked into like five pike. Got two of them to land. Hooked into like ten suckers slash carp. Got like five or six of them to land. Overall, hookup to land rate, a little above 50%. So better the second day than the first day. The second day had a lot of action, but the first day had more pike. So that is Albany on the Sugar River. Definitely will go back there in the warmer months. Hopefully that place isn't infested by turtles in the uh, warmer months. So above the dam Albany, pretty good time. Hopefully there's some gato fish up there as well in the warmer months. So hope you enjoyed this episode. Like and subscribe. Hit that bell notifications button. And I will see you guys later.